I bought Raspberry Pi for robotics but never get a chance to use it. Since first time uh, setting it up, I never used it. I was thinking how it can be utilized apart from robotics so I got an idea. I have been working on a project where I can use Raspberry Pi as a web server. Challenge was that can I containerize application with Docker on Raspberry Pi. Fortunately, I found many good tutorials, so I end this video. I'm going to install Docker and containerize the ASP.NET Core application. Okay, let's get started. Before we start installing Docker on the Raspberry Pi, first we will upgrade the operating system. So we are going to use these two commands appset app get update and then app get upgrade once upgrade is completed I'll disconnect the keyboard and RDP into Raspberry Pi from my laptop. How to set up RDP is already mentioned in my old videos. So now we are going to do a screen share and I'm going to connect to Raspberry Pi from my laptop and so I'm going to connect uh, to Raspberry Pi from my laptop and, and install the docker on that machine. So, so let's get started. I'm connecting to with this IP address and how uh, we can connect to uh, how can we set up the RDP that is also mentioned in my previous video uh, link is on the uh, side so you can look at it so I'm entering my password and I'm connected to my uh, Raspberry Pi so what I need to do here is that I have to get download a script which will install the docker so script is curl fssl get docker.com get docker.sh so this will download the uh, docker script so let's see it, if it is downloaded or not so we have docker installed right now uh, script is downloaded so let's get uh, run this script so we have to run this sudo command sudo sh get docker.sh Right now it is showing that the docker already installed but uh, yeah a long time back I installed the docker but I am reinstalling the docker again and the whole process is going through of installation. So once we are done then our raspberry pi is ready to use the docker so we can contain, uh, containerize our application on this uh, docker. Sorry uh, we can containerize our application on the raspberry pi. Okay, so this is already installed. Let's see if docker command work or not. sudo docker ps okay. okay, we have to check if the docker is running or not. Check if docker is uh, installed or not. showing docker is running so 
what happened in between uh, i had to restart the raspberry pi and reinstall the package because there was some problem with the uninstallation last time so i reinstalled the package uh, reinstalled raspberry uh, docker and i rebooted the raspberry pi and now uh, it is showing that docker is uh, running so we have to add a non root user to the user group so here the command is sudo user mode now you can check whole information about the docker and docker info this is all detail about the uh, docker so now our raspberry pi is ready to use uh, ready to con containerize any dotnet web application so next step is creating a dotnet web application on our laptop i'm not going to create any lab i'm not going to create any uh, application or any web application on the raspberry pi it by itself raspberry pi will just play the role of server and where we are going to containerize our application and run the application from there okay so let's get get started on application I, i'm on my laptop and i'm going to uh, go to my application so i have already created a web application uh, on dot net 5.0 the application uh, will go to the application location this is my application test web app so in this i already created one uh, docker file so this docker file is let's see the docker file docker file will tell us that how the application will be built so base build a uh, base uh, image we used uh, this bluster slim arm 32v7 this is for raspberry pi because raspberry pi is on the arm uh, architecture and this is uh, and this is working directory app and this regular uh, we are going to expose the port 80 and here uh, the actual build is happening based on uh, sdk 5.0 uh, and by 5.0 we are building as regular the way we build the application then after that we publishing the application once the publishing is completed we are creating a build using the arm or uh, raspberry pi image and this is where our complete uh, have a complete build happens so Mm. let's run the build docker build t and this is my id um so before we start the build first we have to log into the uh, log into the docker so so for logging just simple docker login and it will it and they it will create take the credential the credential and login credential and login succeed if not then it will ask for the credential and you have to uh, enter your docker hub is right in password so now we are just building application docker build t and this is my user id and i'm giving the name of this repo is test where app okay so the we have to give the path the current path okay so uh, the build is completed and uh, because there was no change in the end, and i already created one build so it is using the same build so i need to push this to uh, i need to push this to docker hub so docker push and it is uh, pushing this image to docker hub so we are uh, just creating a final image and that final image will be uploaded to the docker hub 
and once it is uploaded we can go to the raspberry pi and download that that uh, repository from there and uh, directly run the application we don't need to build on the raspberry pi building task is happening here only and we are pushing the application from here to uh, raspberry pi sorry we are pushing the application to the docker hub image to docker hub and then uh, raspberry pi will take that image and run that uh, image that is the only thing we are going to do in raspberry pi so whenever we are making any changes we just going to uh, do this uh, work in here build the application push this to docker hub and download the docker hub in the uh, and then go to the raspberry pi download that image and run the image from the um, raspberry pi so it is done so let's go to docker hub and see what uh, what is the image there so docker hubdocker.com okay so this is my image already uh, created and this is the method like how to uh, this is pushing the docker image and now we are going to use it uh, in raspberry pi so just log in back to the raspberry pi Okay, so very first foremost thing we have to do here once we are logged in, that we have to log into the uh, Docker. So Docker login username is Pepe1979 and password Okay, somehow it is saying that it is unauthorized. Let me try again. Uh, sudo login. Oh, okay. I have to use the sudo command. Okay, login succeeded. Now we have to put the we have to pull the image. So Docker pull, and this is our test web app. Okay, so our image is completely downloaded. Now we will run this uh, image and this will be docker. Uh, so we have used a sudo command sudo docker run that dash p. This is port. So uh, internal this port is 80, but we are calling from 80, 80, 5, uh, uh, 5000 to 80 so we are going to call 5000 80 and the image name okay so now our image is running server is running container is running let's see if so it is running if you see it is already running and if we go to this and browser and search for localhost 5000 the application see it is downloading the application now see let's see on my uh, i'm disconnecting from here and launching the application on safari on my macbook pro so it is 192 168 so now our application is running from the uh, raspberry pi so intention was for this uh, video was that i'm going to i'm 
already running building an application and that application that for personal use and um, for local use uh, i don't want to host it probably in future i may host it on the public domain but right now i want to host this application on my uh, in internal network and want to use this application from that internal network uh, and that's why i want inst instead of installing that or uh, running on from my macbook pro or by my machine i want to run it from the raspberry pi so it will not depend on my laptop okay uh, that is it for today uh, i'll come back with another video in the future thank you